Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. In today's episode, I've got a brand new ship. Well, mostly brand new. A lot of this structure will look very familiar to those of you who've been watching my episodes recently. It's the standard three-stage heavy lift module that I've been using, but with a completely new rig on top. This being uh, the uh, Capula, the new um, long-haul, long-distance life support system. Um... And we're just going to, this is just going up for a test flight. We're going to see how much guts this ship has, how much mass this counts for. And if things go really well, we might do a quick uh, gravity turn around the moon uh, and bring her home. But that remains to be seen. This thing holds one Kerman. Good old Lars is going to do another flight since there's no Kerbal experience points or anything yet. So it doesn't really matter that much yet. Um, yeah. So, and we also have on the top of the ship the uh, biometric sensor array, which with any luck will allow us to gather a bit of science about our Kerbals as we fly around and maybe get enough science for another tech item. Now, the only thing I didn't put on here, which actually, you know what, give me one second. I should really put a transmission unit on here just on the offhanded chance that the... Um, which the device is probably context sensitive and probably will need me to transmit results back. So, let's see, transmission, communicatron, there we are, the 8888 can go way out here. Sure, why not? Let's stick it out on one of these. Uh... Yeah, let's see. Let's go for action groups. Just set a couple of quick action groups. Toggle antenna. And take biometric readings, because maybe we can take a few biometric readings on the way up and see if that matters. Okay, with that tiny little change complete, uh, it's launch, it's go time. One Kerbal for a big trip. So this will definitely have to be a landing, like a series, like if, if I was to use the Capola to land, it would definitely have to be a single unit landing rig, which leaves some interesting decisions to be made. Uh, unless I put an electronic uh, backup on the uh, rest of the ship. There's there's things that could be done. Ooh, that looks a little unsteady though, doesn't it? All right, launching in three, two, one. Here we go. So let's... Uh, too low to collect useful data from the uh, biometric sensor array. Good to know. Keep her steady. And engine's not allowed to overheat. No overheating. I did a night launch again, of course, because I forgot to fast forward time till morning. That's okay. See how far we get before the uh, first life support ticks out of this thing. So that's the primary purpose of this flight, is to determine how far this life support will take us. <sighs> mm, excuse me. Been a busy day. We went to the zoo with my daughter this morning. It was quite fun. She's very excited to see all the animals. So. <laughs> but boy, she keeps us moving. Run, 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 run. Okay. Looking good. So, barring any excitement, I will see you in orbit. Of course, if something exciting happens, I'll want to be here to narrate it. Hopefully this new uh, solar panel configuration works a little better. It works well, worked well enough last time, but you know, uh, with the F4 units out, but we'll see how well this works. It seems so far so good. 
little less. Excellent. Come along very nicely. Definitely gonna have to apply, apply a brightness filter to this launch though. This is a very unfortunately dark launch. Time for a first gravity turn. So far, so good. There we go. There we are. We got the two secondary monopropellant tanks down there. I want to make sure those get used up first. Alright, burnout on the first four engines, there we go. You know, fuel lines are actually in this like tech level on one of the trees, so we'd actually be able to do the uh, radial uh, launch system that's so much more efficient. Ah, lovely. Okay, a bit more tilt to this. Let's see if we're high enough to take it. We are! Okay, let's transmit this back to Kerbin and see what happens. Beautiful. Ooh, that's a lot of data. Holy smokes. Well, hopefully we don't rip this off, but okay, so that you can get some as you're coming up through the atmosphere here, even. That's pretty cool. It's kind of good to be doing this while the uh, alternator of the big engines is running. Okay, we're coming up to the point where RCS will be necessary. Looking good though. RCS is on. Excellent, and that's all the engine we currently need here. A little more tip to our flight here. Oh, that's a lot of data this thing is transmitting. So the next one will grab it while we're in orbit. But obviously we're getting some good science out of this uh, biometric array. That's cool. So we'll go for uh, 80 kilometers, I think. So dark. Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah. So this one is definitely not designed for um, landing on another planet, so we're not even going to try. What we will do is attempt a... Uh... Oh, okay, we better get that engine up and running again here in just a second. All right, 100% to that. Here we go. Lock on, there we go. Raise that, apua periapsis, up, 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 up. Good stuff, looking good. We'll also let that apoapsis keep rising, because this is looking very good indeed. Good to know that this thing is too small to affect the balance of a ship this large now. Okay. It's hopefully we've got enough oomph to get ourselves into orbit here. This is a much heavier rig than I'm accustomed to. But so far so good. Just keep
keep it up. That number is rising beautifully. Is there even any fuel? Oh, we've killed the monopropellant. Good to know. Turn on the gas there. All right, 50 science for that. Looking good. Let's might as well grab the uh, the next one. Another 100 science. Let's send her home since we're in space and it won't affect our uh, long-term uh, strategy here. And we haven't seen the sun yet. The sunrise is coming though. All right, let's get rid of that. Oh no, I did it again. Ha! <laughs> well, that was a bit of a failure. Oh well. You guys all saw that, I'm sure, so. Well, we ain't getting this ship into orbit, but we're coming home with a bit of science. And we've ticked one unit off of life support, so. Well, let's just hope we got enough enough clock left enough left on the clock to uh, get this home. Man, how many times have I done that screw up? Seriously, that is just too funny. Oh well, we got we're getting a nice bit of science out of this, and that's the important thing. I guess I wish I could have gotten a little further, but oh. <sighs> Some days you just gotta accept the mistakes where you make them. Boy, this would be an expensive mistake in the in the uh, new version, though. Holy smokes! Well, yeah, this is what what you get for not double checking your staging, which I have failed to do in I think three or four missions in the last little while. <sighs> I keep forgetting that there's a problem with that rig. Oh, that's okay. Not the end of the world. It'll let us check the parachuting on this uh, rig here. Speaking of which, we better enable the batteries on this one. Actually, we'll save the batteries a little longer. We didn't get to use the solar panels on this thing, which is too bad, but what did I do? That's okay. All right, we are coming down rapidly now. I'm definitely going to have to get rid of this uh, lower rig here soon. Which is too bad. I just hope we can finish the transmission before it becomes a significant issue. Okay. No, we don't want the uh, we don't want the transmission to accidentally take All right, we got just a little longer before this becomes a serious serious issue here. Come on, 15 more percent. Well, this will still stand, you know, this is this is a lesson learned as far as mission planning goes. Oh. Uh, but good to know, we know how the biometric sensor array works very well. Okay, turn that on and it Check that. There we are. Get ourselves a bit of distance before all hell breaks loose from those. Good stuff. Watch it fly off into the sunrise and burn up horribly in the process. Man. Yeah, fun stuff's gonna happen here in just a moment. I remember to leave the RCS units on this though. So it looks to me like this actually doesn't have to be attached to the, uh... oh, there it goes. Ooh, beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. That looks so cool. All right. Gorgeous. Huh, I wonder what those are supposed to be. Ooh, 
looking good though. I think this will be an excellent interplanetary re-entry rig. Uh, rig. I thought about using the uh, next size of heat shield down, but it was it was just enough smaller than the uh, actual rig that I was concerned. So I figured I'd uh, not take any chances on this. Besides, this thing leaves me with uh, energy to break, energy to uh, uh, structure to burn. That's what it is. But hey, we might be able to get the next uh, another tech item, which means we could design an even better ship for our next interplanetary uh, mission, which I think we're going to do a new moon landing. We're long overdue. We've only actually been to the moon one time in this entire series, you know. And I think a second attempt would not go amiss. I might actually send a uh, solar panel rigged uh, lander. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing this as a two-part mission where the lander is attached to a solar station rig um, and uh, the return module is done separately. All right, let's get those shoots out. There we go. We'll turn those off. Beautiful, look at that. Not a single darn was given. That just looks fantastic. I have no. Con I, I'm pretty sure the uh, these four shoots will be enough to bring this guy to the ground without any incident whatsoever. Ooh. Oh, part of the other ship. The other part of the ship survived. Crazy. Okay, let's bring her down. So, not a perfect mission, but uh, lesson learned. Let's get some science and design the ship for the uh, next episode. Do a little redesign on camera, but first we got to decide what science we're going to get. Recover vessel. Let's see what we got in the way of science from an orbital recovery, which probably nothing. Yeah, no bonus science because it's just a plain old suborbital flight. 1800 and 80 is enough for a new node, though. So let's see, that's for building um, rovers, which someday will be a lot of fun, but not today. Compact photovoltaics. Um, the new super battery, super super batteries um, which is cool whole bunch of super battery packs rechargeable batteries hmm uh, that's all for ship uh, flight so won't worry about those stabilizers this is more airplane building stuff ooh a science junior oh there's another science node here Okay, um, cool, so this, this is for a very special landing, uh, it's an additional landing rig here, um, which is cool. Um, it'd be nice to get that. Advanced grabbing unit for uh, encountering asteroids, which is an interesting possibility. Uh, and then we've got a nuke nuke, which is a very small generator, which will be useful for sending ships out to the outer solar system, but we want to do a manned mission. Which leads me to believe heavier rockets and hmm, ion propulsion. Low thrust and high energy usage, powered by dark magic, okay. But then there's the mutineer, that's the next uh, big engine, I think, because that gives 1,500. The Mutineer gives 3,800. So four of these, 3,000, 6,000, would equal to one of those. It would be a little less than two of these. Should be interesting. Um, ultimate functions optimally in a thin atmosphere, but we also get the fuel ducts. Hmm. Interesting possibilities. I'm leaning towards this stuff right here. Um, yeah, let's, let's, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to do a bit of work on a ship and I will be right back. Hello and welcome back. 
This is my Return Lander Mark I, and all that's missing at this stage is some illuminators. I have no idea if the battery power is sufficient. I may need to do just a bit. I think I need some batteries on top of this still, but... Um, let's see, Mark I, 0.15, they're the same. Hmm, big flashlight versus... Eh, we'll put the uh, lights up here. I don't know where we're gonna put the lights. So for now, we won't worry about it. Uh, what I do need, though, is a battery pack on top of this. It's the only part I'm missing. But with any luck, this will act as our return and our, our landing and return stage. And we have this attached to a big, we'll put one big. The hope is we'll never have to transmit data with this. I mean, ideally, if we could snap one of those life support monitors on here too. Yeah, why not? Let's try it. Biometric sensor array. Hopefully not too heavy for this thing. But yeah. If uh, all goes according to plan, we gather the biometric readings while we're on the planet's surface and uh, transmit those back while we're in orbit. So, according to my calculations, this thing should be able to launch and land under its own power, as is. So let's find out. It should have enough power, the thrust to weight ratio should be sufficient to operate in cur on Kerbin, in fact says here in fine print. So let's see. Let's retract that ladder. And then we will put some throttle into the engines. Actually, we'll activate the engines. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, let's try a curb and landing. Beautiful. Look at that. That's a lot of power in those little engines. Ooh. I gotta be careful, though. Alright, that's enough to rise. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not a good time for my monitor to stop working. Hope for the best. Beautiful. Okay, we're coming down. Well, lights might be a nice addition to this, you know. But if we can bring this down nice and soft, and you see this thing has uh, gimbals on it, so it's got thrust vectoring built in. But that's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm not sure if it would be sufficient for a moonar landing, but it might be worth a shot. Especially if, I mean, we're, this is doing pretty well for Kerbin, and we're talking one-sixth the gravity. All right, slow down that horizontal movement if you can. Okay. This is not how we want to be moving. Ooh, okay, that was okay. All right. Oh, shoot. Oh, oops. Note to self, that is a little hazardous. I, oof. Ouch. Well, that's okay, that's okay. Because what should happen was just a simulation, just a simulation. That should keep us nice and stable. I forgot to turn the SAS on, because so we've got this thing up here. All right. Now, if all went according to plan for curb and return... Ooh, I didn't put any SAS uh, modules on here. Okay, well, let's bring the gear up. Retract the ladder.
Yeah, we have a very minimal amount of RCS. So let's kill the engines. So according to my calculations, what we should have to do is flip this thing over for re-entry. Eject the engine portion and deploy the parachutes. And that's my safe return rig. Well, that's interesting. This didn't pop off. Hmm. Might be not structured on here quite right, or it's stuck on or something. I'll have to look at that. So this is, it says here in fine print, my Mooner Lander. And we'll see how it does. What I may have to do is have a curb and transit rig or something. But uh, the uh, design allows for minimal use of uh, ladders and whatnot. Nice, right down on the Kerbal Space Center. Not bad, not bad. I can work with this. We'll have to figure out what to do about... Well, I'll add a couple of thrusters to this so that the uh, monopropellant doesn't go to waste in here. Boom. Not a single darn. Okay, let me... I'll do some more work off camera on... Well, let's go back to the... Uh, Space Center, and we'll just do a couple of tweaks while we're thinking about it. And maybe I'll get some feedback from you guys before I fly this uh, on what I might need to fly this thing to the moon, if anybody's flown a ship that looks at all like this before. But we will need... I think we're going to need the Illuminators. I think we'll put two on here. That's utility. It's utility, isn't it? No, not utility. It's not. Oh, it is science. How interesting. Oh, I haven't tested one critical thing. Well, two critical things. All right, let's see. Come on. All right, do 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 do. That should do. Let's uh, actually put them at full ninety. Come on. All right, new lights. All right, come on. Which one? There it is. That way. Okay, we'll see how well that lights it up. Okay, and then I needed to make sure I had RCS. We'll just need two RCS on this to go with the lights. We'll center them on this right here. Angle snap. And angle snap those like that. Parachutes. Um, make sure this is attached to the heat shield, and I, I don't know if that heat, sh I think that heat shield will be enough for this ship to make it down. I'm really not 100% certain, though. And I'm open to advice on that front. Come on, it worked just a minute ago. There we are. Okay. Uh, and a small, uh, an increased supply of RCS. Actually, we should be able to do without RCS on the way down, because these are gimbling. So, all we have, the only thing we haven't tested is to make sure a Kerbal can make it out of the ship and back in again. Now, one thing I'm thinking about doing is actually delivering this ship to the orbit of the moon and then bringing a fuel tanker to it or something. I've, I've been seriously contemplating making a Mooner uh, station. All right, so let's, uh, let's EVA here. Hatch is obstructed, can't exit. That answers that question. Of course, I put a bloody light in front of it. There was only supposed to be two of those, not four. Let's see if the hatch is still considered obstructed or if I'm going to have to move this. Uh, two of those should be more than sufficient. And this is probably in the way. So let's move it way down. Come on. All right. Uh, we only want four of those. There we go. That should do for that. Actually, we only wanted two of those. 
two, like so. Excellent. Come on, let me grab that one piece. There we are. Let's see if that will work. It says here in fine print. Okay. Let's just drop these legs just a little further. Four of those, just barely on. That should do it. Okay. Let's try it. We'll uh, retract the ladder by default. No, come on. Retract ladder. Why won't it retract? Fine. Let's get to lunch and see what this thing looks like. This will be the last bit for today. Just need to make sure that uh, we can get out the door. And that this ladder isn't going to pop off or something silly. Can I retract you now? Oh, why the there's two of them. Whoops. There we are. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right. Nicely done. Very clumsy, but nicely done. Can you grab this? There we are. And we go up. And we board. Ah, that'll work just fine. Okay, good stuff. A few more tweaks and the Coppola lander will be good to go. Oh, and the best part, with the uh, ship like this, we got a pretty good view of our landing. I could land, theoretically, you could land inside of this ship without any difficulties whatsoever. Now I just have to figure out how to get out of here. But I'll do that off camera. Thank you all very much for watching. And in the next episode, we will do something fun with this new rig. See you then.